In this video, I will make 1000 AI warriors fight each other after training them for more than 300 hours. I haven't expected the AI to resort to strategies this efficient and complex, so stick to the end and I promise you the most epic AI war you have ever seen. There will be two armies of warriors fighting each other. Team Red and Team Blue. All warriors from both teams will have the same set of parameters in terms of health, stamina and so on. However, I made it possible to create different variations of soldiers, which allows me in theory to add bosses or just other types of warriors. Let me know in the comments if that sounds interesting to you, and I might do that in the future videos. The soldiers can see by shooting 30 lasers in front of them, and you can make my day by hitting like and subscribe button. Whenever the laser hits an obstacle, the agent will know what it is and the distance to that obstacle. Moreover, knowing exactly which laser struck the target will allow the warrior to rotate accordingly. Speaking about rotation, each warrior can do the following actions. Move in any of the four directions, including horizontal movement as well, which, well, allows the agent to move without consuming stamina. Rotating left and right also doesn't consume any stamina and allows scanning the area using the eyes, or setting yourself in a better position for striking. This seemingly small detail is actually very important, because in order to deal damage, your weapon actually has to strike the opponent. This means that even slightest mistake might lead to an undesired outcome. Sprinting forward is another option available, which allows to move forward at increased speed, but it will be at the cost of 10 stamina per second. When the stamina is higher than 25, warriors can perform an attack which on contact will deal 100 damage, enough to one-hit any other opponent. Attacks can be dodged using, well, dodging. It will cost another 25 stamina, but the warrior will dash backwards, which might be just enough to survive an attack. The agent is rewarded for unaliving enemy agents and punished when the same terrible fate catches him. A team can win if all the enemies have been slayed. In that case, all the soldiers in the winning team, no matter alive or not, will get a reward, and the losing team will get punished. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, surprise, surprise, it did not work from the first time. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm as surprised as you are. After training the agents for some iterations, they refused to fight. They would keep sprinting until they would run out of all the stamina, so they never even got the chance to attack. Well, there is no such thing in a person that more punishment won't be able to fix. So I've added a small punishment whenever the agent's stamina is lower than the amount required for attacking and dodging. This seemed to have fixed the problem, so I started training 100 soldiers, 50 in each team, at the time scale 8 times faster than in real life. The training took around 8000 iterations, which was a little over 220 hours of real life time. I told you it's gonna be big. But wait, there is more. After 220 hours of training, I found out I ended up with some putty soldiers. Because I didn't have any boundaries or walls, the agents realized that they enjoy living in peace and exploring the area around them much more than fighting. As I said, pussies. I tried fixing that by simply unaliving any warrior that goes too far from the spawn, but that resulted in some creepy witch circles. I guess they have tasted too much freedom already, so I decided to abandon them altogether and start the training process from scratch. This time, the reward for defeating an opponent is two times larger than the punishment for losing the fight. This should give more incentive to fight instead of just staying alive. And to ensure that their will to live is crushed completely and no hope is left, I also replaced the punishment for lack of stamina with a permanent one. Now agents are simply punished for existing, which means it is better to go and try to fight for Valhalla than run away and stay alive. Lastly, I've added walls all around the arena, touching which will result in self-destruction. To maximize the chance of them fighting, at the beginning I have been spawning them randomly, mixed with each other. This would make it more probable that an agent will hit an enemy once performing the attack, thus getting rewarded. At the beginning nobody knew what the hell is expected from them. But on round 5 all the agents decided to flee the war ground. Most of them found out this round that hitting the wall might not be the best idea. 
At least the blue team should have, since all of the blue warriors bumped into the wall, resulting in the first win for the reds. Around iteration 150, we can see all the agents spending more time in the middle of the map rather than running away. But even those who flee are not as dumb anymore, so they just run alongside the wall trying not to touch it. I've somehow missed how the blue idiots have lost another round, but I didn't miss how in round 273 the red team decided to demonstrate that they can be just as dumb as the blue team. Their failed attempt to reach Hogwarts resulted in the first win for the blue team, <laughs> lol. About a thousand iterations later, we can see the beginning of some strategies arising. After an intense fight in the middle of the map, the soldiers spread across the entire map and continue fighting along the whole perimeter while also not touching the wall. At round 1500, I've decided that the agents got enough knowledge about fighting, so it was time for more team play and strategies. To enforce that, I removed the random spawning, so now blue team spawn on the left, while red team on the right. And just few hundreds of rounds later, we already see some resemblances of real-life battles, when both armies charge at each other. Just imagine the final result with all 1000 warriors. After this, the training went for another 2000 or so rounds, the agents fighting better with each iteration and coming up with actual strategies which impressed me, to say the least. Alright, enough talking, it is time for the final battle. I've promised an epic AI war and after 3800 iterations and another 100 hours of continuous training, here is the final result. Each team will start with 500 warriors and the round will last until all soldiers from one of the teams cease to exist. Who you think is gonna win? Pause this video and make your bet in the comments below. So far, blue team seems to be winning and most of the fighting takes place in the very middle of the field. That is to be expected, but I'm looking forward for more complex strategies to be applied. The reign of Team Blue was not as long as they hoped, and soon after Team Red steals the lead. There is an intense battle in the middle and we can already see the first casualties, but the first line of defense is still holding, both for Team Red and Team Blue. Oh shit, this dude just made a double kill. Meanwhile, the fight seems to take place all across the map. Well, except of those dudes who are chilling in the back, fighting each other or fighting the wall. Yeah, whatever brings the victory, I guess. It seems that Team Red are slowly bursting through the northern defense line, flanking and getting inside enemy positions. But not only there, the southern defense line of Team Blue is also being crumbled. They should do something about it unless they want to get encircled. The difference between army sizes is getting more and more noticeable and the possibility of a comeback gets smaller and smaller. However, it seems that the northern attack of red team has been stopped. There are still some soldiers, but the main wave seems to have been repelled. Yeah, this does look like an actual battlefield now. Meanwhile, Team Red slowly but surely increases the difference, having now 60 more soldiers than Team Blue. Considering that the agents are identical, it is quite a hefty difference. Looks like the attack on the southern side has been completely repelled and I can even see blue soldiers that somehow got into the heart of Red Army and desperately, similar to lions, fight for their lives against unfair numbers of enemies. Just look at these two buddies, I bet they are best friends. However, despite them trying so hard, the northern defense line is under another siege. This time, the Red Army is moving much more confident and I don't think Team Blue will be able to repel this attack. The difference is now closing to 100 soldiers in the favor of Team Red, which is quite a substantial amount. Oh wow, Team Blue somehow managed to fight back that other attack as well. Despite the fact that agents from both teams shared the same brain and same set of parameters, 
they somehow managed to evolve different strategies, where we can see blue warriors spread across the entire map, more like scouts or solo warriors, while soldiers from Team Red prefer grouping together. <laughs> Needless to say, it looks like team play is the key to success. Rest of the fight, the red team kept chasing their opponents and dealing with them one by one. And I thought that nothing can surprise me anymore until something very weird happened. When the amount of blue soldiers dropped close to 10, the red team started assembling in some weird straight line formation. I haven't ever encountered this kind of behavior during the training process, so I was very surprised when most of the red team gathered in this formation and started exterminating the rest of their opponents. After the last few members of the blue team have been slayed, only the leader was left. After some long, long minutes, once the AI realized it has no chance, it decided to run into the wall and finish it all himself. Phew, now tell me that wasn't dope. Red team won and it was fully deserved. Bruh, those strategies and formations, wow. Anyways, I think needless to say, this has been the largest and most difficult projects I made so far. So I would really appreciate if you could support me with a like and subscribe. Bye.